Hello guys, Wind Sparks here. Um, I'm going to show you how to make a YouTube background quickly. Um, as you all know, we have to update to the new channel layout. It looks pretty shit, I think. But I'm going to show you how I can make a background with it. Um, not, it's not a very advanced, but still, it's a background. And you will need this template, and I'll put the link in the description for this. And then you just need um Photoshop. I use the CS4 my Photoshop CS5 crash. So let's get started on this and um so what you need first is just a simple layer of course. You wanna write you wanna make some text. Just write anything and just write blue. And use any text. I usually like to use Rave one originally. Actually, wait, I'm going to find my Rave 1 original right here. Look, that is not it. You get a lag down. Yeah. I'm going to make it way bigger than that. Because you don't want that to be real big. So I'll make it a little bit. A hundred. When, actually, you can hardly even see what that says. So I'm going to change it to. And I think it's one of my favourite fonts is Batman Forever. Yeah, it looks quite nice. And then you want to go to Edit, Transform, Rotate, CCW. Like, rotate it like that. So you can just put it on your, on the side of your template. So when you have your layer, you do it lagging, sorry. Then just right put it wherever you want. Then right click the layer, go to blending option, add a you note, know, add a gradient overlay, go to gradient. And I have some gradient presets already made for and I'll put the link to that in the description too. But look, you can have like any of these sorts of gradients. I want like a note like that, I want the lighting in that. I'm just gonna make myself up here. Still black to white. Look this. Look this. This in the back is the darker grey than that one. And then go to style reflective. Revert it. And then go to stroke. Add a stroke. Don't want to close the size. Keep it to two. Well, three. I'll use three. Add a drop shadow. In a shadow, not really necessary, but it does just look like it's going into the template, so I don't really add that. Bevel and emboss. Just personal preference, to be honest. I don't really like bevel and emboss, but you can always change the depth to a thousand and the size you want. Just makes it look a bit. Mm, well, it makes it look a bit better, I guess. Well, I'll just leave it at that. In fact, I'm not looking a little bit dull. I'm not using it. 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 This is just a quick tutorial. You don't actually have to use the same colors. You don't have to add it. Make the rest of it go back to it. No, 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 no. I can't use it. I'm not using it. Yeah, it's good enough. Drag it out there. Then add another bit of text. This I'll just put spark. Spark, there we go. And again, edit, transform, rotate, CW this time. And just drag it against the like that. And then go to win, go to copy layer style, and then go to spark. And close there, so they don't recover the mic with you. Right, there we go. Simple template, but the background is a bit dull. You can keep this just gradient, simple gradient overlay. But I'm actually going to get an image in. I already have a bit of an abstract image, so um, if I want to use my background, but what the dimensions. Uh, I'm going to show you how this just to get a quick background image. So just go to your browser or whatever. Go to Google Images. Type abstract 
And then you can use any of these, you look like this purple one. Click that, make sure it's full screen. In fact, I do not have that, so it was pretty small. But, um, this one. Seems okay. Actually, this one looks quite good, I might use it for my own background. Just click save in the jazz. My computer won't lag in. It always seems to lag when I do the tutorials on my computer. So save as, save to wherever you want. I'm just going to say it's abstract to an abstract storm and light weather tool. That's all you need for now. Just close it over there. You can get into the news and you need to do it. So open pictures and you'll find the one on this. So what, what is it? That's really good. That seems to find what I've seen. So I'm just gonna have to do the You know what I saw the What's going on? Alright, I'm gonna do this again. So, go to the end, sorry about this fail. Go to the end of it. Again, in the Abstract. paper. I'm, I'm just going to take it like this, I'm just going to write it this one. I'm just going to use one. I'm going to go to shop. File. Let my computer lagging. Crazy internet, can you download it again? I shouldn't fail, I'm just going to do it and then do it again. Press it up and do one. From that. Finally, here we go. And then you just drag it out and drag it into Photoshop. There you go. You want to drag it all the way underneath the um, content area. So it's just like that. Now press Ctrl T. And you can drag it here in the middle. So now we can get it to look like that. Just press the check mark, and it should be like that. And the colors look pretty horrible like that, so I'm going to change the gradient all the way to that, with not really the background color. So you choose like here. Yeah, that looks okay. And then copy the color. Then paste it again on here. There we go. That looks quite cool. But it's not the best of backgrounds, like I said. It's not, it's not a very good template, is it, to work on? It's not a good layout at all. But this is how to make a simple background anyway. So thanks for watching, guys. Whoever did. And see you next time.